with another live fragrance uh, review and uh, first of all i hope that you are going to enjoy your sunday have a great sunday wherever you are and whatever you do uh this uh, today i'm going to talk about a fragrance which is to me uh, the perfect fragrance to start the summer and also to start first the springtime because the spring is near and this fragrance is the perfect match for uh, the spring and later the summertime. This is Versace Pour Rome, released in 2008, is an aromatic fougere and the perfumer behind was the master perfumer Alberto Morias. Let's first break down the notes. Top notes are lemon, bergamot, neroli and rose. Heart notes are cedar, clary sage, and geranium, and uh, base notes are musk, amber, tonka bean. This fragrance uh, main accords are citrusy, aromatic, also fresh and spicy, floral, rose, and green accord or greenish accord, whatever you like. Uh, this fragrance is a very well-known fragrance. I, I don't really have to introduce this fragrance to you because everybody knows this fragrance, has been around for a long time. It's on the same ballpark as um, Aqua di Gio by uh, uh, Armani and also uh, Chanel Allure Sport. Why this is very on the same ballpark as Aqua di Gio? Because no wonder why. Alberto Morias uh, was also the perfumer of uh, Aqua di Gio. And also this fragrance is a fresh, a spicy, citrusy fragrance that really smells clean when you wear a clean shirt and you you got a shower, you just out of a shower, you reach for this fragrance. It's the blast of the citrusy on your skin and you feel good. You immediately feel fresh and clean and ready for the heat, ready for the hot days. This fragrance for me is one of the true heat breaker. Really, it's a heat breaker. It's a perfect scent for a spring and for summertime and spring is near, summer also is not very far. And we can say that um, winter is almost over, not yet, but it's almost over. Finally, we had a winter even in California, but nevertheless, spring is near so this fragrance is a it's not a hidden gem it's not a, a discontinued fragrance it's a still on production it's still very popular but it's only a masterpiece it's a very simple but on the same time very very high quality alberto marias he's a great perfumer and to me he's the king of the fresh scents he knows how to make great fresh fragrances and no wonder that uh, Agua di Gio or even Versace Purome are bestseller because of the craftsmanship and because of the skill of uh, uh, Alberto Morias, he know how to blend the fragrances and he knows very well how to uh, mix the fragrances together and make a great fragrance out of very, very simple notes. This is the magic of Alberto Morias. So this fragrance, it's uh, very affordable for a Versace fragrance. You can have it for $40, $45, a big bottle. Try to get the 200 ml because the 200 ml even goes cheaper. For $60, you can have the 200 ml. It's a real easy to wear. It's a real uh, uh, a must to have in your wardrobe because this fragrance, it's a fragrance for casual meetings, for weekend, for uh, going to bowling, going and playing tennis or going to movies, meeting your friends. It's not a complicated fragrance. It's not a sophisticated fragrance. It's a clean and fresh fragrance, perfect for spring and uh, summer, you, you, you wear a clean uh, polo shirt and then you spray this on yourself. 
you have to really be heavy on a sprays because the, the weak problem of this fragrance is it doesn't last long. Lasts only on my skin three, four hours, but you can always reapply. You have to reply because this is a kind of fresh fragrance and fresh fragrance, they never last a lot. It's the same thing with Eau Sauvage, it's the same thing with Aqua de Jo, it's the same thing with uh, CK1. All those freshy fragrances, they never last more than four hours. So you always have to reapply. So this is the only problem with the freshy fragrances. So you have to have a little uh, pocket spray and reapply uh, during the daytime if you want to do the whole day rotation with this fragrance or for three or four hours is enough for you, then it's okay. But uh, really you have to go heavy on the sprays, at least a spray eight times. You have to spray eight times to get a very good result out of uh, Versace Puro. And uh, this fragrance, uh, it's magic. It's a true complement getter and it's a true uh, magnet. It's, I'm, I'm not going to use the word a panty dropper, it's not the case, but it's a true complement getter. Whenever I wore this fragrance, I really got compliments. I really, uh, and the magic of this fragrance, it's always a uh, pop up uh, in the heat, pop up in the spring, pop up in the summer heats. If you wear this on the cold days, the magic will not work because the magic of Versace Pro pop up with heat. That's why this fragrance is a true heat breaker. And really, I, I, I mentioned this word because it's a heat breaker. It's, it's a fragrance for the hot days. It's not a fragrance for cold days. It's not a fragrance for the fall. It's a fragrance for spring, summer, and the uh, early fall, er, very early fall, in, you know, what we call the Indian summer, between uh, mid-September until the very beginning of October. After that, don't reach for this. You can always reach, but you are not going to get a big result out of it. So this is a fragrance that I really love, this fragrance. I really always own it in my uh, wardrobe, and I really reach for it in the early spring and also in the hot summer days. Uh, it depends wherever you live. Very pleasant, very freshy, very clean, very aromatic and citrusy and a true compliment gather. Really, you get lots of compliment with this fragrance and people around you uh, enjoy the smell of this fragrance. Little bit confusing with Chanel um, Allure Sport and uh, Aqua de Gio, because often they, people, they confuse uh, them with these uh, two fragrances I mentioned. Well, it's on the same ballpark, and Aqua de Gio was made by Alberto Morias, and uh, Versace Purom also is made by Alberto Morias, so that's maybe the, the, the common points, and also, he, he, I think, I think, this is my personal thing, I think Alberto Morias wanted to make a bestseller for the house of Versace, and he wanted to make an a, a Aqua di Gio bestseller type for the Versace. That's why purposely he took the DNA of Aqua di Gio and the backbone of Aqua di Gio, and he added up to the uh, some extra notes, uh, and uh, the result is uh, Versace Puron, which is a bestseller. It's a real bestseller, and it's a very popular fragrance in Italy, in Europe, in Australia, in United States, and all over the world. So this is my real, uh, it's a real bestseller of the house of Versace. So uh, I really prefer um, uh, Versace Purom to um, Eros or to Dylan Blue because those fragrances are heavy on Ambroxan and they are heavy on, you know, I don't like it. I don't like that Ambroxan fragrances, but they are a little bit uh, uh, annoying and uh, I don't like that. But this is not that type. This is a very classic aromatic fougere with a classic touch of Alberto Morias. I really uh, advise you, even you can go for blind buy, if you don't have a fragrance uh, uh, on the uh, on your on your wardrobe for uh, spring or for summer. But I remember, I, I, I just wanted to tell you, if you already own uh, Aqua di Gio or you already own 
Chanel Allure Sport, then you don't have to buy Versace Pro. It's a waste of money. Don't don't buy it because it's the same fragrance almost. And don't waste your money on Aqua Di Gio. But if you don't have Aqua Di Gio or you don't have Chanel Allure Sport, then you can buy uh, Aqua Di Gio instead because it's cheaper and uh, the quality is uh, almost the same or even better uh, than uh, Aqua Di Gio nowadays. So this is my um, review on uh, Versace Purome, a fantastic fragrance for uh, early spring and also for summer. I wish you to have a pleasant Sunday and uh, just uh, stay safe and sound. Uh, keep in touch and stay in touch. I'll be back soon with another live fragrance review. Until we talk again, cheerio!